Hi, hi guys, good morning and welcome back to Kinasari TV. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Alright, so today I'm just going to do the intro. <laughs> but I have the man himself here and uh, he's going to take over from me. So in the wake of the coronavirus, uh, there isn't much to do. The city is on a, on a lockdown. So we just home and just wanted to update you guys on the situation here in China since we live here. Alright, so I'm just going to give this to him and he's going to take over. Alright, thank you. Thanks so much, bro. All right, so that's uh, Namesh, Namesh, Namesh GH. He's doing it. And the big man himself. Yeah, man. Coolio. MC Coolio. MC Coolio. What's up, everybody? We are on Keen Asari TV. But don't panic. Don't panic. We are going to talk more about uh, the coronavirus, you know, as, as they, uh, they've already said. We'll be talking more about coronavirus. So, Charlie, let's kick it. So, what's up? All right, so let's 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 keep it interesting all right i want to ask you what have you been what have you guys been doing recently in the wake of this uh, epidemic Just let us know what you guys have been doing recently you can't do much <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about coronavirus <laughs> and so uh clubbing going out to party and all those you can't do that this is not the right time to go out so what we basically do is just stay indoors play games on fifa games cook eat drink some beer drink tea drink whatever you want to drink man we can't do anything we are scared <laughs> we are scared you know there are a lot of things going on and so um basically we don't go out we don't go out because this is not the right time you should go out actually uh, because the virus is quick spreading you know every day we, we hear news of um the virus spreading and the numbers going up and down you know so we can't do much so basically we're just home playing games cooking eating. it's boring though it's boring because Charlie, we want to go out there. You know how it is, but we can do it. government and the uh, other bodies are trying to put in place to ensure that 
it is under control over here in beijing especially okay for the busy control i think yes what you just said i noticed even we those who live in the same um, building you know whenever you go out and you're coming you have to pass through a process the security or whoever is there will have to check your temperature to be sure that because one of the same things is that you have high temperature you cough you sneeze so they make sure they check your body temperature to make sure it's normal right and then after that they check your id if you really live in this apartment uh, in this building or not so that is one thing now that is for people who are living outside their schools i mean for students now for students who live in the dormitory what i know is that they are kept in the dormitories they are not allowed to go out uh, there are several checks of people going in and out of campus and then uh, supplies like food and uh, mask and basic things that they use are being sent to the school for them and then they need to if you need to buy something it's kind of the mall coming to you in your dormitory you are not going out or the supermarket coming to you and so they make all the provisions available for them to buy or or get them so i think that is it i think uh no machine will tell us uh, some other things yeah so uh, in the wake of this uh it's it's been very boring uh, over the past few weeks or so i mean you and i have been indoors we don't go out the least chance we get is to go out and buy our food stuff so active uh, mostly i try to read and play games with you guys um most of the time too you find me on my phone talking with my friends having video call facetiming or something just to keep the contact and relationship with them because i don't get to see them yeah and then they, they are also um i mean panicking uh so i just need to tell them to stay wherever you are and then you can also always reach them by phone and uh, yeah that's been it that's been it yeah so has there been any call from back home to uh, back home telling you to go back home you know and then come uh, return to china when the situations are a bit okay has there been any call like that a message <laughs> yeah a lot <laughs> a lot look you wake up and like uh, what's up a lot of messages challenges popping up hey how's the situation i heard this this is blah, blah, blah. lots of rumors so you have to allay their fears just let them know that no just everything is under control and you are fine yeah that's it do you think our families back home are reading more than they should read or do you think we are that the media is also influencing them negatively about this about our safety here uh, as far as World Health Organization is concerned, I think they've declared this emergency, if I'm right. Yes, they declare. And once they declare, it means the figures are out there. Right. And so once our families get access to TV and internet, they know everything that is going on. What I'm surprised is that, uh, as I was telling you guys the other time, they seem to know more than we do. Yeah, they, yeah. the news gets to them faster than we are because we are, you know, we are locked down. We are kind of housed or present in our room. We can't go out. But they get access to watch TV and all those other things. And then, yeah, they just call you and say, hey, are you safe? We just heard that 16 people died in your in your city and we are like what we didn't hear that <laughs> they are fast they are fast ahead of time you know and so that is it but i think their main concern is that uh, once the flights are being suspended you know most flights are being suspended so if the case become worse what do we do because we cannot go home you know we cannot go home so i think that is the, the major fear at the moment if things continue the way it is now are we going home are we staying here we cannot get a flight you know so that is it yeah but I mean, um, the information about this is out there. Everybody knows the numbers. It's surprising we don't know as much as people outside do. What are your expectations? Do you think, or I mean, the World Health Organization and the Ministry of Health of China bringing this situation under control in the next few months or weeks? Yeah, definitely. So, um, you know, the numbers are scary. I mean, over 20,000 people now who are infected, okay? And the government is taking measures to contain the spread. You know, part of what they've done is to build a new 1,000 capacity hospital, a prefab, yeah, in, in, in about a week or two or something, yeah. And also, um, if you stay in Wuhan, um, you don't move out, you don't get out. So what they are doing is now, now is almost every two or three days, only one family member gets to leave home to go get groceries and come back. Yeah, you are not. No one is really allowed to be on the streets. Transportation is on a lockdown, and and also China is calling for a bit of like help from the international community, and people are responding. So I believe that in the coming days, I mean, they are going to contain. I trust them. I believe in them that they are going to contain the spread of this disease. Yeah. So what are you telling your family back home and any person that is worried uh, about this situation, I mean, especially for the foreigners over here? We keep praying. We are Christians. <laughs> we, yeah, we believe in God, so we keep praying. You know, so yeah, Muslims are praying, Christians are praying. Well, whatever you believe in, you just pray. 
that we believe that God is in control. Uh, so that's the only way this thing can end. But I think, as uh, uh, Enoch said, yes, a lot is a lot is being done, and then uh, we would see some positive. We are hopeful. That I, I read this morning that a kind of a vaccine has been identified that is supposed to be tried on about 470 people somewhere in the china japanese hospital close to our school right and so we hope that all these measures be put, uh, being put in place uh, things might go well yeah. all right so thanks so much guys i think you've really educated my my viewers and i'm sure uh from time to time we're going to give them more updates on the yeah on the current situation so uh i would want one of you to sign out for me uh, no, 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 yeah, 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 he did the intro, so obviously, uh, yeah. okay, all right, so yeah, as we do it, you know, just subscribe, if you are a new viewer, subscribe, like, share, uh, don't worry about the coronavirus, everything's gonna be all right, if you're a reggae fan, <laughs> uh, 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 if you're a reggae, what, what's that song, uh, no, no, not feel the airy. Everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, baby, don't worry. Aha, uh-huh, yeah. So go listen to that song. Peace out. <laughs>